Hey boobs, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be about this hair, this hair color, how I got it, a review, all of that. If you're interested in this, 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 this wig right here, keep watching. Okay, so I wanted to bring, just wear a new color because it's starting to get warm outside and I'm like, girl, you always plain Jane. Let's get another color instead of black. So her hair company had reached out to me and you guys know I've reviewed them on my channel plenty of times before. My mic is here. <laughs> so I, um, I wanted to try the last texture that I had not tried, which was the Eurasian straight. And the Eurasian texture is blonde. I mean, blonde. So I said, well, good, because this hair is already bleached. I'm going to go ahead and dye it. This is going to be easy. Now, fun fact, I was sent the Eurasian texture way back when to review, but I did not like working with that texture. So I end up, the wig that I made, the color on it, I end up sending it back because it just totally showed it's, it's on me, okay? So I sent it back. So then the company said, well, give it another chance. You know, I'm, I'm sorry that the wig did, you know, go bad. Give it another chance. So here we are with this. So to achieve this color first, I use Revlon Color Silk. I use Color Silk in numbers 48 and number 49. They look like this. 48 is going to be burgundy. 49 is going to be auburn brown. Now what I really wanted was an auburn color. But I said, I need, I don't know if you could really just pull off auburn by itself because you're dark. Go ahead and get a color and mix it in with it. So that's why I got the burgundy. Just looking at this wig alone, it don't look like it's no burgundy in here. This wig is kind of giving me like auburn rose gold. Well, as you're going to see in the video, this is what the wig looked like. This was the color when I mixed both the auburn and the um. This is what it looked like. I have the coloring tutorial, so I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. All right, y'all. So y'all see these bundles right here. One, they're long as heck, but then two, it's definitely blonde. So what I did was this color here is the auburn brown that I'm using. It comes out and it looks burgundy, but once you like start to massage it and that color starts to process, you'll see the auburn in it. Um, one of the biggest things was making sure that I was able to get every speck of this blonde hair because you know how sometimes you see colored hair and you can see the missing pieces <laughs> or the pieces that didn't get colored. So that was my main priority. So I flipped this over and I'm using, I used two browns and then two burgundies. The, the um, auburn color, the auburn brown is what I put on first, blended that in, and then I went in with the burgundy and put that on top. Like I explained in the video, I needed two colors because I just was not confident I was able to wear that auburn color by itself. And the color came out gorgeous. Now, the main thing I want to show you guys how I did was the frontal. And this is me just trying to get every speck of this hair. Um, and that was the first two bottles. Now, let's get to this frontal, y'all. What I did was I parted the frontal. Um, and then I took a toothbrush and my goal was to get to the roots because it's blonde and I need to make sure these roots are colored. And I didn't want to have to bleach my frontal. So I took some of the auburn brown, took that toothbrush, and then I just started getting to the roots, like really touching these roots with this color. And I wanted to dye the lace also so that, like I said, I didn't have to bleach it. You know how somebody get their fresh color and you can see how their roots are dyed? Sometimes you can see the color in their roots like on their scalp. That's what I wanted. Like I wanted that to be there. Like new color, who's this? So I made sure I got the baby hairs and everything. <laughs> and I felt like the auburn brown color would be better because it kind of give me like a brownish root, I guess. And then on the actual hair, I went in with the burgundy color and extended that out. So it can kind of be like an ombre, but it all felt like it went perfect together. So do this with your frontals. Just part it and then apply that um, color straight to the roots. And use a toothbrush if that can help you get to like the nitty gritty of that blonde and make sure you get them edges and everything i really love this method you see how it looks like it started to dye that it processed it and then i just went right on top of this with that burgundy color it just came out really good like my roots and my fronts would look really nice i didn't have to add no baby i didn't have to add no powder i didn't have to you know uh bleach it none of that because 
the technique that I did use. And this is the burgundy I'm using to color the rest of the hair. Came out gorgeous. Now, what I did do was once I got it, you know, all saturated and I let it sit for a little while, I just went and rinsed it out. And then you see how deep that color is, right? Like, girl, I was not playing. That is gorgeous. Like a cherry cola. Like, that's pretty. And I used the um, conditioner that came with the Revlon Color Silk. And then I just followed up with my Tresemme Touchable Softness Conditioner. I colored it. I was wearing it for like a week because I wanted to see like how the hair was holding up. The hair started giving me issues. So I said, mm, let me wash this wig. I did that. Turned out this color. All the colors washed out from this. And with one wash, it turned to this. Now, I wasn't able to sit down and film with the color because... I was testing the hair out, but I do have some clips that is overlaying now that shows like that actual color just from just being in my vlogs. I think um, I recorded something. So that's what the color looked like after washing it, blow drying it. It looked really pretty, so complimentary to my skin. I enjoyed the color. I got so many compliments on that color. Like everybody was like dying, like what color is this? Um, so as you see, it's very beautiful. Now I had got three bundles of 22 inches and then I got, I think like a 16 inch frontal or something like that. I'll say I use all of my bundles and then this is just what's less uh, left of the 22 inch. Let me give you a plus on her hair company. Their hair is honestly long ish. Like it is so long. I don't know if you guys seen that video I pointed out that closure. I mean, that frontal in itself was long and I think it was only supposed to be 16 inches, but that was a long closure. These bundles right here are supposed to be 22. This is long as heck. I really feel like it's like a 24. Um, this actually might have been a part of me cutting it because once I got done dyeing it, I did snip the ends a little bit just to get some like, you know, uniformity. So um, it was a bit longer, but her hair company always give you long bundles, honey. I'm going to be quite fair. This is not my favorite texture from her, her, her hair company. I'm not really a fan of the Eurasian story. I think because it is so blonde, they had to do so much just to process that color. And in the meantime, of processing the color, I really feel like they could have damaged the hair. And I just think this is my second time trying it. The texture of the hair is just like real... I don't know. It's like it's like plastic yakky like. I don't know. It gives me like pretty luster, pretty flow a little bit, but it's super I just don't like the feeling. It doesn't feel like oh this hair about to be soft, bouncy. It doesn't give me that. Along with it not giving me that, I think because it's been processed so much, it's easy to get frizzy, it's easy like not up. I do have one of those issues where where when the hair is like on the back of my neck, I kind of got to go, you see that? Got to rake it through. And I'm really self-conscious back there. But I think that's just because the hair was processed. You have to understand, when you get like 613 blonde hair, the process going through that is crazy. So I just think that texture in itself, unless you are super experienced with dealing with blonde hair, then go for it. I'm not one of the ones who are so experienced in dealing with hair, blonde hair, processed colored hair. So it really did give me a time. Another thing that I did notice is that this hair definitely sheds. Now, in the first wig that I had, it shed too, um, which was one of the complaints I had to the company. It just shed. I was like, what's going on? Like, why is the hair shedding like that? You guys know I believe all hair sheds, even the hair on your head. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to assume that bundle shed too. And they def this definitely does. Like, I have to clean up my floor when I'm done, but it sheds too. I don't know. This is not like a negative review on the company. It's just simply my preference. I'm just, I would not never get the Eurasian straight again. And I feel like they're pretty pricey to have these issues. I hold hair that comes with a price at a high standard. If I'm paying a high number, then I feel like this hair needs to be the highest grade. And I don't feel like this is the highest grade um, that they're offering at the price they're offering it for. Now I've had other her hair company textures that I definitely enjoy. For one, this straight hair is amazing. I had no issues with their straight hair. I think I had their body wave hair before too. The curly hair I had no issues with. Like, I like her hair company as a company. I just don't like this texture that they offer. I really love her hair company frontals though. I'll give you that. Like their frontals are really like made to fit your head and you can customize it. But literally that it, the way they construct their frontals are gorgeous. I will give them that. I love the shape of their frontals from her, her hair company. I think this is the only company that I've had that had like frontals that are perfect. So if you're looking for like a fr perfect frontal, 
her hair company definitely got you on that. But the wig color is growing on me. Um, I love the front tool. I would not go with the texture again, but I do love her hair company's other textures. But I did want to show you guys the color that I'm rocking, how I got the color that I was rocking, and show you guys because I had so many questions on Snapchat and my vlogging channel where I'm the most active. So I felt like I owe that to you guys. And I just wanted to just be honest for real, for real, and just tell you how I felt. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the um, review. Leave down below if you like this color. Tell me if you're feeling it. I know a lot of people saying it was very complimentary to my skin tone. Thank you, boo. <laughs> but let me know if you're feeling it. Would you rock this color? Do you think that the color fell off from the hair because of the box dye that I'm using? Or do you think it's the hair? Like, let me know. Anyways, this review is long enough, okay? I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. I am Nini Tanae to all my new subbies. Hey, boos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.